Hello Magical Hands, welcome back to another tutorial. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Jessica and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Today's tutorial is going to be the pattern drafting of this beautiful snatched and detailed corset blouse with the inbuilt lacing at the back. So if you're a beginner, if you have no idea or little idea about sewing and you also want to make this, all you have to do is to check the link in the description box for the video that you need to watch before this one. I've already drafted out the basic bodies of a blouse. I have the front piece and the back piece. And I said the major difference is usually the zipper because this blouse will be having the zipper at the back. And also the front armhole is usually more defined than that of the back armhole. Mark the chest line of your corset. So from the bust point upwards, I mark four inches. Make a straight line across that point. If you're not bursty, just extend your armhole line forward and that's going to be your chest line. Mark your apex measurement, which is your nipple to nipple measurement divided by 2 on all the lines down to your full length. Make sure to connect with a straight line. I'll mark my neck width, which is 3.5 inches, and the depth I will use 3.5 inches as well for the front. Connect your neckline with a curve. So make sure to mark your apex measurements on all points, which is from the chest line up to the full length. From the left side of the apex measurements, mark in half an inch, which is going to stop at the under bust. Make sure not to mark anything on your bust point. So I'm going to connect those half an inch together to meet the bust point. The bust point is our focus point. So on the left side, just as you can see, mark only half an inch. I will use the slanted side of the ruler, I will use the straight side and I will slant it to connect it to the bust point just as seen. So I'll go ahead with my marker to deepen the line so it is more visible. On the right side, I'm going to mark 2 inches apart from the apex measurements. I will mark it on the under bust line as well as the waist line. And then on the chest line, I will mark half an inch apart from the apex measurements. Now I'm going to connect those lines together and then I'll use the curved side of my ruler to connect it to the bust points and then I'll connect it as seen to the chest line. So if you are not busty, you can use 1 inch apart, you can use 1.5, the more the bust, the more the measurements. So that gives us a cup-like look, you can see the cup is more defined. On the bust point line, I will mark 2 inches upwards. That is where the under corset is going to start from. On that point, I will go in by half an inch. I will make sure it is half an inch wide. And then I am going to use my curve ruler to connect with a curve to meet the under bust line. I will connect those top parts together as seen. And now we have one of the cups ready. To get the second cup, I will mark what I have in the left cup, which is the first cup, which is 3.5 inches. And I'll add half an inch to that measurement and mark on the right side. I've explained this before in my other videos, that the right cup is supposed to be bigger than the left cup because the right side of the cup carries more weight of the breast. I'll connect together as seen with a curved line. And then from that point, I will extend upwards so with a straight line make sure not to slant this line make sure it is straight now we have both our cups the left and the right side cup now for to achieve the neckline that i have or the yoke i'm going to connect from that apex measurement to meet where i have the neck length extend the dart lines to your full length this pattern paper is not enough for the full length that I want, so I'll be adding up to it. For the full length, I'll be using 24 inches, so I will have to add up a new pattern paper. Now that I have added one, I will tape it together as seen. So I'm just going to mark the full length of the blouse, which is going to be 24 inches. Make a straight line across that point.
and extend your dart lines downwards. Now start applying your round bodies measurements divide by 4 on all the points. On the bust points, I will mark my round bust measurement divided by 4, which is 9.75. I will also apply that on the armhole line, my bust measurement divided by 4. Now at that area, what we have at that there, I will replace it on that point. I am not going to add a seam allowance. I will do that while cutting on the fabric. For the under bust, I will mark my round under bust measurements. Now I reduced my, under, my waist measurements by 1 inch. So if you also want just to be very snatched, if your waist is 30, use 29 inches divided by 4. And on the full length, I'm going to mark my hip measurements divided by 4. And also replace that 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 will be cutting out. Go ahead and connect all the lines together. Don't forget that we did not add any seam allowance to this. All the seam allowance and all the needed allowance will be added to the fabric. Shade out the parts that will not be needed. Now we are going to shape the front space, the lower bodies, to have a bit of a curve. To do that accurately, I'm going to tape in the dots. On the ends, I'm going to mark 1.5 inches upwards. And I'm going to connect it down to meet the center front, just as seen. Now I can untape this and then I can go ahead and start cutting out the parts that will not be needed. Now I will indicate how this will be facing each other or how it will be sewed up together. I will cut the center front into two separate pieces because I want to put a bone in at the center front. So I indicated the cups as 1 and 2 and you can see the arrow placements as well. We we'll move over to the back piece. I have the zipper allowance already so I'm going to mark the chest line that I use for the front piece on the back piece which is 4 inches upwards from the post point. I'm going to slant it because I want the yoke to have a V-like look. So from the chest line I will come down by 2 inches. This is totally optional. You can be creative with your style. And now we have a V-like neck. So on the neck width, I'm going to mark 3.5 inches for the neck width. And for the depth, I will use 1.5 inch because this is the back piece. Also extend it to the zip allowance. And then I'll indicate as the yoke. Now I'm going to make my lines more visible. Because I've already done this with my pencil, I will make it more visible. Mark your apex measurements on all the points to the full length of the blouse. Make a straight line on them as seen. Mark half an inch apart from the apex measurements. Only on the under bust line. Do not mark any on the bust line or the chest line. Connect everything as seen to meet the one half an inch apart on the under bust. That way we have our regular darts already. And that is the only thing we need to do for the back. Now that I've marked the full length, I'm going to start marking my round bodies. All I have to do is to replace the darts that will be cutting out. Else, we are not adding any sewing allowance. I already explained this while I was cutting the front piece. Mark, divide all your round bodies by four and apply and replace what is going to be in the darts. And on the full length line, mark your hip measurements divided by four. Now we'll go ahead and connect the lines together. Also, we need to shape the back piece so that the sides can align together. I'll go up by 1.5 inch and connect same way I did to the front piece. 
Now we can go ahead and cut out the parts that will not be needed. This is everything for drafting the bodies of this corset. Now that we are done, we are going to go ahead to cut on the fabric. So I left some space. I pinned this to the fabric and I went ahead to chalk down all the allowances that I'll be needing. The chalk might not be showing because it's um, the color is not white, so it might not be showing. So on the side seams, I'm going to be using one inch and also to attach my darts, I marked one inch. But for the hemming, I used only half an inch. So take your time to do this very well. I also placed my lining underneath so that that way I'll be able to cut out everything. So guys, if you want to see how I coupled this together, how I was able to join it together to make that beautiful blouse, all you have to do is to click in to watch the part. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like our videos make sure you subscribe make sure to share because this helps you to recommend our channel to other people as well